Lately, I've been working on a number of different tools that just kind of speed up my workflow inside Houdini. So I wanted to show my newest creation, which is a Python panel that I've made just to kind of speed things up in just day-to-day -day work. So you can see that it is over here. This is gonna be available on Patreon. If you want it, you can grab it from there. But basically, I have a number of different tools here. Let's cover the ones from the second on just real quick here. So you notice they have basically the same icons that we have with this network view. We can see we can jump to different contexts and that's basically all that these are. So the icons correspond to each different context. So we're in the stage context currently. If I click this one, we're gonna jump on over to the OBJ context. This goes back to the stage. We have a mat context, the out, the image and the channel context there or the, the chops context, I should say. And then the big one for me is this one on the left here. So let's go ahead and jump back to the stage context here. And this button is a super helpful button that I'm not sure why they don't just have inside Houdini. Normally, if we want to change over to the render view, we have to come up here and select this and go to either Karma CPU or XPU. You can go ahead and just click that and you see we have a scene here and this is a little sneak peek to something that we're going to be creating in the future uh, so keep an eye out for that but as of right now that's not out so this button does the same thing just in one click so it'll toggle us back and forth between the houdini gl viewport and the karma xbu now you can easily change this in the code to be redshift or you know the karma cpu or storm or whatever you want but for me, I have it set to Karma XPU because that's what I use mostly now. So I just have this little button that just is a one-click solution just to save you a little bit of time to switch back and forth between the GL viewport and the XPU viewport. We have the, the same thing with these buttons. They're just little shortcuts. That way it saves you one or two clicks. But overall, that's going to save you quite a bit of time as you work in your day-to-day -day life. And I'll start to show some of how we can start to create some of these things in the future. I ran a poll on YouTube and it sounds like quite a few people are interested in seeing how we can actually go about creating things like Python panels and some different uh, workflow stuff to, to help make yourself some tools. So that's something that I'm going to be probably taking a look at in the future. So keep an eye out for that. I'm definitely not an expert, but I, as you can see, I've created a few things as well as, you know, a shelf tool or a shelf here. So I've got some experience and I've learned some things that uh, aren't necessarily super out there for, for everyone. They take some digging to kind of find if, if you um, are actually looking for that information. So hopefully I can make that a little bit easier and accessible to everyone so you can kind of make your own tools. But anyways, that's coming in the future as well as this little sneak peek of what we're going to be taking a look at in the future as well but anyways that is it like i said grab the pro or the python panel in the patreon link below if you're interested in that but anyways thank you guys for watching and have a good day